I'm here with one of the most stunning queens in the world, the gorgeous Pheromone. Hello. Hi, Johnny. Pheromone, how's it been going? You have been busier than ever <laughs> since you moved to West Hollywood. Tell me about how everything's been going and what have you been up to? Uh, I've just been being really inspired. I feel like I have this new thing with with this new like confidence, I guess. I don't know, like season nine was, you know, rocky for me. It was a, an emotional roller coaster, but I feel like I've really come into my own and I'm just having a lot of fun with my career right now. Because the thing is, regardless of how you placed on the show, you have one of the most passionate fan bases and had it from right at the end of the show. I know, I, I've been so lucky. Uh, and honestly, uh, my fan base is so sweet, so supportive. They. They, they make me feel good every day, so I love them. Plus, the looks you have been pulling lately, including this one. Let's get a full inch look at her. Oh, oh my God. Uh, you have just been giving body, fashion, so much stuff. How have you been, what's been inspiring you lately? Oh, I've just been, uh, God, what's been inspiring me? What runway what collections, are... what men, what women? Well, I'm always inspired by the color pink. <laughs> so anything I do, I, you know, try to add some pink in there. Y'all know me. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, Christina Aguilera is obviously always a big inspiration for me. If I ever, like, am stumped for a look, I can go look at some of her previous stuff and kind of redesign it to make it my own in a certain way. So, um, yeah. That dirty look you did at Precinct with the Boulets was so on point. Oh, my God. I was so excited to do that. Um, because, you know, Brian Hearns, the guy that made it, he did Kylie Jenner's for uh, when she went to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, it, it, oh, it was so well made. Leather just, I really felt like Christina Aguilera, terrorized, of course, back in her dirty days, and it was life changing. Now, let's talk about something exciting that happened earlier this season on Drag Race. We learned that for sure RuPaul knows your name because he spoke it, and you know <laughs> that that's not the case for every girl. I know. <laughs> he really likes me, I think. I think he does. I'm so sweet. I he's so fun. And you got a chance to meet Christina in the untucked section that we saw on the web. Tell me what that was like, because she is one of your all-time inspiration. You know, people say like never meet your idols, but I that's like the complete opposite of my experience. It was honestly the most special thing. And she really took the time with me. And you know, the interview is only like five minutes on YouTube, but we were there for a good hour hour, maybe hour and a half. Wow. Um, you know, I, there, there was some special moments I'll always have in my memories that didn't quite make the cut. But what did we not get to see? Oh my God. So there was, when we first hugged, her stones on her dress got tangled in my hair. <laughs> so they had to come and pull us apart. Really? Ah, literally. <laughs> and we just couldn't stop laughing. And then um, I remember there was another part where I'm such a dork. I. <laughs> I, I was like hyperventilating right. and I took like this really deep breath and my suit popped open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little boy nipples were out. It was so embarrassing, but she was just so fun and so sweet and so supportive. And it's just crazy to know that she's been like watching me and uh, it's just, it's, uh, she's amazing. A dream come true. And it seems like tonight there might be more dreams coming true. <laughs> Pheromone, I love you. You're slaying the game. Just so ah, <laughs> and she managed to fit it. And sweetie, one last thing. You, since you were on Hey Queen, it seems like you and Valentina's relationship kind of got mended. Any any update on that? Uh, me and Valentina are in a really good place right now, and I'm super happy. You know, because uh, I went into Drag Race, and I feel like I connected with all the girls in such a like spiritual way. You know, we're all in a once in a lifetime experience together, yeah. and so um, you know. We're cool, like, I, we actually, right after we filmed Hey Queen, I went and worked with her in Spain, and we made up and had like our kumbaya moment, so it's really awesome to be friends with my sister again. That's a delight. Everybody, pheromone, gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, slaying the game. <laughs> happy Pride, gorgeous. Love you, love